There's about 10 days left till the TMUA and only less than three weeks till the MAT. And I thought I'd just do this all in one video. What should you be doing when you've got these huge admissions tests right around the corner? What do you do in this last period of time? I made a video talking about what to do two months before the TMUA, what to do one month. But I think it's also really important to think about this week now because there's a few different scenarios you could be in. And I'm going to do my best to try and hit hit home at like the main scenarios, like the main kind of situations that people are generating at this point. You could be super, super confident. You're like, you know what? Bring it on. Bring on the TMUA. Uh, bring on the MAT. Or you could be on the flip side. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm not ready. I'm not prepared. So hopefully this video will be uh, a good video for you to kind of just at least give you a bit of reassurance on what I would suggest you should do between today and this, you know, TMUA or MAT. So firstly, let's, let's deal with the best case. You, you're feeling very, very confident. That is really, really good, um, which is, you know, I think just psychologically a really good way to go into an exam is feeling confident. And that's 10 times easier said, uh, easier said than done. So if you are feeling confident, great, let's roll with it. What should you be doing over the next few days? Because you don't want to just, you know, sit down and relax and play PlayStation all day. You, you still want to make the most of the last few days. Um, what I would say is then just do more problems. Do more problems because if you're feeling confident, you you already you 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 unless you're delusional, which hopefully you're not. If you're confident, it's normally because you've done a lot of preparation, you've done a lot of work, you've seen lots and lots of problems, and you know, if I gave you a new like set of problems, you'd be like, yeah, I can do this, no no big deal. You know, bring it on, bring it on, bring the TMUA on. So what I would say is over this next week, just do some more problems, just to a build your confidence, like to really like like build on it. If you are genuinely confident. When you see more problems, you're like, ah, come on, let's go, let's bring it on. And even if you don't get those questions right, the, the, you know, the problems that you do this week, you'll be eager to know, okay, well, cool, how do I do it? How do I solve it? So what I would say is keep, keep doing problems. So if you haven't already, do things like AMC problems. Um, I'm sure you've done all the past papers by now, so I'm not going to mention those. Um, do uh, AMC, do step problems, do... Um, just trying to think maybe potentially UKMT problems, but just keep, keep doing maths. And you want to do it for two reasons. A, to not let your confidence turn into complacency or like cockiness. You want to keep it as like good, good levels of confidence and you know, assurance that you know that you're going to do well. Um, and secondly, uh, the reason you want to kind of keep it up is just to like, yeah, not, not have like fatigue when it comes to your mathematical st skills. You want to stay sharp. So that, that, that's really all there is to, to it. Um, I, there's maybe some, still some quite useful advice, I think, for uh, people, uh, so, so stick around for the, the advice I'd say for people who are less confident, but in general, that, that's, uh, that's, my, that's what I would be doing if I was a week before the exam, and I was like, yeah, you know what, I'm, I'm confident, I've done the preparation, I'm, I'm very confident in my abilities, bring it on. Now, let's say you're not one of those people and you're actually like, uh-oh, I'm a bit scared, I'm not feeling too confident in my abilities. When I try past papers, I can't, you know, maybe there's some ceiling, like, you, you know, you can't seem to be getting past a certain score and you're not sure why, and it's not the score you want to be getting. So I've had quite a few calls with students recently uh, who have got in touch saying that they want, wanted my support. And they, the common thing that I always hear is they are stuck on a, they can't seem to get past, you know, 13 marks out of 20 or, 10 marks out of 20, or they want to get to 15 marks out of 20, or 16 marks out of 20, you know, whatever their goal is, and they just can't seem to bridge it. Now, I wish I could say, right, here, do X, Y, Z, and you're going to get full marks. Realistically, that's, that's, I, there's no advice that I can give or anyone on the planet can give to give, get you from zero to full marks in the space of a week. What I can say, though, will hopefully give you, uh, you know, in, just in terms of marks, a few extra marks. So firstly, in this last week, chill and that doesn't mean chill as in you know play, playstation it means chill as in accept the fact that you are not going to be if you're you know if you're you're not going to be able to get up to 100 percent if you're currently on like you know if you're getting eight marks out of 20 in the tmu at the moment in, in like, let's say you did last year's past paper today is a mock and you got eight out of 20 you're going to struggle to get up to 20 out of 20. I, I'm a big believer in anything's possible, but I'm also a big believer in uh, realism. So just 
accept that that's going to be very, very difficult. Don't set that as a target. And the reason is because then that's just going to kind of have a negative spiraling effect. Um, it's, you know, if you try and bite off way more than you can chew, you'll then just want to spit out the food, right? And it's the same thing here. So I would say is try and focus on small steps. So you can easily, and, and the great thing about if you are getting, let's say, eight marks out of 20, there's a lot of meat left on the bone. There's lot, lot, loads more marks left in the exam that you could be scoring, that you could be getting. So want to ask yourself is where is it that you're losing your marks? If it's due to timing, let's say you consistently run out of time, which is a big thing that normally happens with these admissions tests. What should you be doing? My advice, and I give this to everyone, and I, when I first heard this, I basically have implemented it, not just in my maths exams, but in all my school exams as well, is when you know, the invigilator tells you to open the paper, or now it's a bit more metaphorical because it's all online, you should read the whole uh, exam, uh, read all the questions first. And this is my advice for timing. So this is good for a bunch of reasons. A, if you're running out of time, you may as well be running out of time on the questions that you suck at. So if you sucked, for example, me, I sucked at geometry. That was my weakness. So I would, when I did the MAT, when I did the TMUA, I would read the whole exam first and I'd go, okay, cool, this is a geometry question. It doesn't look like something I'd you know, <laughs> want to really do. So I'm gonna leave this one till last because then if I do run out of time, oh well, I've run out of time on this question that, which I probably wouldn't have scored as highly on even if I had prioritized it. So you may as well maximize the marks that you can get there. That's one reason. Secondly, you get to know where the easy and hard questions are. And this actually makes even more sense now when all the questions are randomized, uh, it, it, like with the TMUA. Before it was, broadly speaking, kind of easy to difficult. Question one was normally quite easy. Question 20 was normally quite difficult. But before, you know, maybe question 18 was difficult, but you'd seen the trick before. You knew what the technique or the skill was to solve that very, very efficiently. So for you, it was an easy problem. If that's the case, then you may as well solve question 18 first. Now, even more so, because it's all randomized, you have, question one could be the most difficult question on the paper. So read all the questions first, and then from that, you'll have a good idea of which questions are like you want to avoid, and which questions are like, yeah, I want to do that one, because I've seen that trick before, that technique. So that's another reason. And thirdly, my, my favorite reason for this is like a psychological reason. Once you read a maths problem, your brain already starts like working on it in your subconscious. So if let's say I read the whole paper first, and then let's say I just wanted to start from question one and move onwards, by the time I've got to question six, my brain has already done some work thinking about that problem in, in my subconscious. And so I've already saved myself maybe 30 seconds of thinking by the time I've got to question six, because I've already given myself a head start. So even though you spend five minutes or whatever at the start of the exam reading every single question, you then earn that five minutes back over the course of the exam. And so actually you'll find yourself saving time by reading every single question first and you'll be answering the questions which are going to maximize your marks. If you're not doing that already, that's a really easy way to get a few more marks, um, especially if you're on the lower, lower end where you're kind of struggling to get beyond 10, 12, 13 marks out of 20, whatever. Um, so that's one thing. That's what I would say. That's a bit more kind of a skill or technique, but I would say in this week of your preparation, implement that. So ensure that any kind of past papers, any practice you do, you implement that strategy. What else could you be doing over this week? When I say, I said chill, what I mean by that is don't overdo it. You don't want to overstress yourself. So I would say in your case, the best thing to do is review all the TMUA papers. I would say, I wouldn't say it's worth necessarily going and doing an AMC paper or something because it's ever so slightly different syllabus, ever so slightly different, like they don't necessarily ask as many logic based questions, for example. But with the TMUA, it is a TMUA paper. If you're doing the MAT, uh, do the MAT past papers and really analyze them. So what I would say is get, take, take the question or take a past paper, do it, mark it and then analyze it. So really, really go in depth as to where, uh, well, sorry, do the paper, try and do it under time conditions. And then after you've done it, give yourself a little break, have some food, whatever, but don't think about the paper. And then go back and then go through the paper and give yourself more time, maybe an unlimited amount of time, like a few more hours to try and score higher. Because then that will, and then let's say you manage to get an extra 10 marks from that, then you know that timing is a bit of your, is a bit of your issue as well. Um, but let's say, Let's say you, you, know, you do it after, you give yourself another three hours, then you can mark it. Uh, obviously only mark it on the 
two and a half hours that you spent doing the MET or, you know, 75 minutes if it's the TMUA. Mark it and then really analyze it a lot. What do I mean by that? What do I mean by analyze? So go through every single question, whether you got it right or wrong. Ask yourself why you got it right, why you got it wrong, and look at your uh, answer. So obviously you'll, you'll be doing your working on a piece of paper. Look at your working compared to the, uh, the mark schemes working. What have they done differently? Why did they do that? And the biggest thing, the best thing that you can do for these exams is not just ask how did they do it, but why did they do it that way? So when you see my videos, think, why is Jamin solving the problem this way and not the, this way, the way that I thought to do it? Why is Jamin solving it this way and not this way? Ooh, my phone just dropped. Why are we do it, solving it this way and not this way? What's the reason? And what's Jamin seen in the question? Well, it doesn't have to be me. Why have the Mars team done, done it this way? Because then you'll start to condition your brain to think, okay, cool, in these questions, they may be written in a certain way or there are certain, not buzzwords, but like things to look out for in questions where if it says something in a certain way, that can be an indicator to think of this technique, whereas before you may have been thinking of this technique. That would be very, very good advice, I would say, to get between now and uh, the, the, the exam, the TMUA or the MAT. If you are struggling, it's probably because maybe you're approaching the question the wrong way. So it could be timing, it could be approach, it could be that you have a lack of underlying uh, knowledge. Like if you, you know, struggle with A-level logarithms, you're going to struggle with a TMUA logarithms problem. So there could be a bunch of different things. It's quite difficult for me to give generic advice, but that's probably from my experience, the kind of most common uh, uh, kind of issues or, or, or feelings people have at this stage. So hopefully you're in the former category, very confident at this stage. But of course, uh, I think it's natural to not, not maybe be confident or be a bit scared, be a bit nervous. That's totally fair, totally fine. I think with the TMUA and with the MAT, they are very, very different exams to your A-level exams. A-levels are very, very similar year in, year out. The questions are basically the same. They just change some numbers, change some wording, but the techniques are the same. So as long as you do the last 20 years of past papers and you know the content very well, do every question in the textbook, you're fine for A-levels. MAT and TMU is a little bit more different, a little bit more difficult. There's still an element of if you do all the past papers, you're going to develop, but there's still a lot more to it than that, uh, which is what makes these exams very, I find them very, very entertaining, very interesting, and I think that's why universities use them, because if, if it was just very easy and everyone would get 100%, it'd be no benefit to them. Anyway, enjoy the week. Obviously, you're going to be doing lots of revision. Um, make sure you have things in, pla in place to kind of um, ensure you know, you don't burn out, you don't, you know, make sure you have like your family, your friends, people close to you checking up on you. I would also say one thing that worked really well for me um, is if you have this exam, let's say on a, I think it's on a Tuesday, Wednesday, depending on where you are, have something lined up for the evening that day. So maybe it's a dinner with the family or if you have other friends and stuff who are doing that exam or similar exams, because I know lots of other subjects have exams, go out for lunch, go out for dinner, have something prepared, something that's going to keep you going, keep you like, okay, cool, you know what, today, because if you get very stressed on exam days, that worked for me, I was like, okay, you know what, I'll do this exam and then we're going to, to Nando's or whatever. Uh, something like that is really, really good to have uh, just in the back of your mind, just to keep you going, have something prepared, have something lined up. Apart from that, um, best of luck with TMUA. I'll be releasing uh, some more problems to kind of help you in your preparations over the coming weeks. Also, best of luck for the MAT. I'm going to keep the videos going. But do let me know if you need any uh, support or advice. Let me know in the comments down below. And I will catch you in the next one.